Now, I ain't even gonna hold you, bro. The first thing that you need to do is join a cook group. And let me explain to you why. Whenever you at the mall, right, and a place shock drops, and there's a line for a shock drop, have you ever wondered, like, bro, how did them people know to be there at that time? Inside information, right? Even if you join a cook group, bro, just get in. Even join a free one. Get in, look around. You'll be able to quickly see that cook groups drastically up your chances by putting you in the know. So this is release information, shock drops, restocks, bro, even stock numbers. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the whole rundown how anybody, any circumstance can successfully resell sneakers in 2022. Now, if you're not hip, bro, sneaker reselling has existed for years now. And in today's culture, bro, hype sneakers are pretty much like the gold standard with even the most famous people coveting the most rare, most hype, most expensive sneakers. But what's even more lit than that, what's even more cool than that is becoming a sneaker plug. Now, you know exactly who I'm talking about. The people that are flexing all the pairs on Instagram with a trunk load, a boatload of sneakers, all while you're on an eight month L street on the sneaker app and don't feel bad because we all are bro now i'm sure that everybody i'm sure that everybody even people who are interested in getting into becoming a sneaker reseller everybody pretty much understand how it works you buy a shoe for retail most of the time they sell out that supply and demand then drives up the value of the sneaker and then that's where the reseller takes the profit so we get that right all right so first I wanna talk about how much money you need because that's one of the most frequent questions I get, honestly, bro. And honestly, that answer depends on the route that you wanna take. But there's that, I'm gonna give you two answers to that, right? You can start with as little as $100, right? You could buy a pair of dunks for $100 and best case scenario, sell those dunks for a couple grand, right? I'm gonna keep it real with you by saying that that's gonna be rare. However, that is possible. Matter of fact, the shoe that started my little brother's career, he had just he had just went for the Travis Lowe's, the, the blue ones that came out last year and he hit and so that 170 turned into a couple grand for him but more realistically if you could save you up about 500 dollars bro that's enough to get you on the right track but anywhere in between there you're good now i want to talk about the most practical way that anybody can do this right and this is what i call the footwork route right this is signing up for raffles right entering on the foot sites like foot lockers champs and manipulating that reward system to get selected to buy more shoes. Now, the way that works is, is that you get points for shopping, right? You get those points for shopping and that's kind of how your flex account is measured. Now, the reason why this benefits resellers is, is because when it comes to the sneaker reservation system, the more points you have, which means the more money you spend with them, the more reservations, the more sneaker reservations that you win. So I know people that have three or four accounts, right? That, that have a pretty good spending history or whatever. And so between Champs and Foot Locker, they usually hit two pairs per account, right? So that's that's what, 10 to 12 pairs right there that they're almost guaranteed to hit. Because ultimately, bro, programs like that were developed against resellers. But one thing you will understand when you become a reseller, when you get in these cook groups and when you meet other resellers is, bro, is that resellers are going to find a way. And so what ended up happening is, is that system ended up benefiting resellers. Because let's take Flex again, right? one dollar is a hundred points so a hundred thousand point is about a thousand dollars spent and the average person who is not hitting on releases isn't spending about one thousand to five thousand in Foot Locker per year right because realistically those one hundred thousand to five hundred thousand point accounts are typically who are typically who's winning these raffles now I know you're thinking like bro if I'm going in at the bottom just like the people that wear sneakers, the people that don't spend the money, how am I gonna win the shoes? And this is exactly how you're gonna do it. Go in these stores, go in Foot Locker, right? Buy yourself some stuff, right? But after you buy yourself some, buy it, look at the shoes they have on sale in there, right? And look and see, check check the SKU number on the shoe, right? Look on eBay, look on StockX and see if you can either make a little profit or even break even as far as what you spend on the shoe if you were to sell it. Because here's the most important thing when you're doing that bro the most important thing isn't to make profit just yet is to build that account up so that you can start hitting on the shoes that you can make more profit on and if you really dedicate it and if you really want to get those points up you could even do it at a loss that's going to want build up your build up build up your seller rating on whatever platform you're selling on whether it's ebay stock x goat it's going to build up it's going to build up your seller rating because you're making successful transactions you're making successful sales and it's going to build up your rewards account with Foot Locker, and it's just going to get you to where you're trying to go a lot faster now even if you just had that 100 dollars that i told you you could start with you could even build it up off of that go buy a shoe for a hundred dollars that's ten thousand points go sell that shoe get that hundred dollars back 
go buy another shoe and just build it up like that. Granted, it's gonna take you a little bit longer, but where there's a will, there's a way. As far as footwork hitting in-store raffles and stuff like that, bro, I'm talking about Shoe Palace. Sometimes Finish Line does in-store raffles, and I'm gonna and make sure you watch to the end because I'm definitely gonna give you some game on Finish Line. But places like that, most people, bro, keeping it real, don't take the time to go in the store and enter the raffle, bro. So the more you do that, the more you up your chances to cop sneakers as well. Now, let's talk about the Finish Line status system because because bro, I personally feel like it's an today is an even better tool to guarantee that you get sneakers even than the previous method that I mentioned. And here's why, because finish line system is called status, right? And their system, I think they learned from flex. I think they learned that, okay, people can manipulate that system. What they didn't learn is that any system is gonna get manipulated, but they tried to make it slightly different, right? So they don't care about how many points you have per se. Of course, some, they wanna see some spending, they wanna see some history as far as number, as far as the amount of dollars that you've spent with them, but what they mainly wanna see is that you're actively spending with them, right? So shout out to my boy Sniper Kicks out there in Chicago, bro. He actually put me on this about a year ago, bro. And the theory for me was, what I gained from it was, was if I take about five hundred dollars just go buy whatever whatever i want i don't even have to buy sneakers that i'm going to use sneakers that i'm going to sell I'm a, i could go buy them for the toe i think matter of fact so i just went in there spent five hundred dollars got my status account active and open in in the very next sneaker drop after i did that which was the the blue and black 350s that came out i was giving like i was giving like status early access to go ahead and cop those sneakers and so boom I bought those and then every sneaker, almost every sneaker after that, my my account, that account was reserved a pair. I just had to go in and pick my size. So what Finish Line ultimately wants to see is that you're actively spending with them. I believe some people debate, hey, you don't have to spend five. Some people say, my account's like that and I only spent $200. Comment below what you what your theory is. How much do you think we should spend? But but I had started focusing on YouTube, kind of stopped focusing on, rese on the resale game itself and my account stopped hitting. I went, bought a pair of socks, scanned them on my thing. The very next sneaker that came out, boom, you're back, Rico. You're back in, right? So I actually made a video about that, showing y'all the process, showing me going there and spend the money and then even showing me, showing y'all where I, where, I, where I was instantly able to cop out after that meet me over in that video man i love y'all bro let's get it hey what up rico gang check this out bro i have an ebook i have an ebook that i want you to check out if you tired of missing sneaker releases bro and you want to know how to do it without bots without having to go spend crazy money i put it all together in literature for you i got a link in the description below man y'all tap in with that if y'all rock with me man i love y'all bro let's get it